Okay, we have a, a 2012 XJ, and this button has broken on the center console. So we're going to try to replace that. First things first, we have to get to this mechanism, and the first, only way to do that would be to get this outer bezel removed, and then um, from there we remove this and hopefully get to this assembly. So that's the plan. Okay, so I turned off the car and bought this um, kit from um, Harbor Freight. It's an in interior uh, tool kit, auto trim kit. So we're going to use this and go around the, uh, I want to use this one, I think, the smaller one first. And we're going to pry around this and it should release. And it has some um, friction clips all the way around. And so we're going to go all the way around it. And as you can see, it's starting to lift here. You can hear the friction clips giving away. There we go. You want to work at one part and then um, work your way around. And you can see it's starting to give. I'm going to keep working around. Use two hands and um, and remove and work around the um, all the friction clips. Okay, I think we got most of it around, off. I heard one of the clips fell off. We'll see if, if we can retrieve it. You can see. Oh yes, looks like. Uh, this one came off right here, and looks like maybe just several of them came off. Oh, there they are, right there. There's one down here, so I'll have to go ahead and retrieve that with a pair of needle nose pliers. And um, so that's step one. Okay, we have a, a 2012 XJ, and this button has broken on the center console. So we're going to try to replace that. First things first, we have to get to this mechanism. And the first, only way to do that would be to get this outer bezel removed. And then um, from there, we remove this and hopefully get to this assembly. So that's the plan. Okay, so I turned off the car and bought this um, kit from um, Harbor Freight. It's an in, interior uh, tool kit, auto trim kit. So we're going to use this and go around the, uh, I want to use this one, I think, the smaller one first. And we're going to pry around this. And it should release. And it has some um, friction clips all the way around. And so we're going to go all the way around it. And as you can see, it's starting to lift here. You can hear the friction clips giving away. There we go. You want to work at one part and then um, work your way around. You can see it's starting to give. I'm going to keep working around. Use two hands and um, and remove and work around the um, all the friction clips. Okay, I think we got most of it around, off. I heard one of the clips fell off. We'll see if, if we can retrieve it. You can see. Oh yes, looks like uh, this one came off right here. And. Looks like maybe just several of them came off. Oh, there they are, right there. There's one down here, so I'll have to go ahead and retrieve that with a pair of needle nose pliers. And um, so that's step one. Another thing, too, we'll have to remove uh, all, all these screws here. Appears to be, looks like a Torx. Maybe a, I'll find out what it is. Maybe a T20, apparently, or T15. 
It looks like these were supposed to come out with the plastics. I want to remove these manually and reattach it back to the trim um, so they can be re easily reinserted. So, okay. All right. <clears throat> Those things are a little pain to get out, but definitely worth it because you're going to need it to put it back on. Um, uh, I ended up using um, needle nose pliers and 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 uh, fingernails and tweezers to get them out. So, anyways, we have um, four T20 Torx bolts we need to remove here, here, and here to get this uh, radio console out. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do next. Okay, we removed them off. It's good to have a, a magnetic um, bit because those want to fall off the off your uh, bit. Okay, and I can see those clips here, so I'm going to be careful. It should just remove right out. There it goes. And there's a small cable evidently attached, so I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. Um, I have a magnetic wand here. Go ahead and pick up. This one, and I think there's another one. Oh, I see it. It's way down there. It fell in there, so uh, you can see it right down there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those and put them back on the um, the bezel. Okay, I removed this um, connector. You just push in on this this latch here, and it moves from the assembly. And uh, I got to go digging around for the other clips because I'm missing some more. So I'll be back after this. Okay, the next is to remove the center console. I think it has the same friction clips and you want to start here at this end and work away around just like we did the front bezel. So it was difficult to get it started here but um, with a little uh, deliberation we were able to force a um, plastic clip in. I'm going to get a couple more in here and then slowly lift it up. All right, we've got this started, and we're going to slowly try to work our way up. It still hasn't given way yet, but um, this whole thing's plastic. You have to be careful not to crack the edges. We'll be doing some gluing. Okay, we're still working our way up. Now we've got this lifted here, and we're slowly working these tools all the way up to hopefully lift this whole thing up. It's kind of flimsy, but just be careful. It's also good to get this in here apparently there's some kind of friction clip right in here so I'm gonna try to do what we can to remove it all up in one piece without breaking all right update we're slowly working our way around here uh, you can get this narrow tip in between in these little spots right here to pull up you can see these these large bars you can't get the, t the pry bar in so <clears throat> it takes a considerable amount of force to lift it up so far i mean i'm surprised it hasn't broken but uh, we're gonna try the same thing on this side maybe we'll be coming up soon here okay after a long battle we finally got it removed uh, nothing broken although that one looks a little bent, but uh, there's no, there's a cord in the back, and it looks like it's tie wrapped, so it's not easy to quite disconnect. So I'm just going to leave that connected while I work on it. The uh, this allows a good chance to go and get some paper towels and and clean off the guck that's around here. Um, give it a thorough cleaning around there, uh, around the display too, because. Um, Really can't get the nooks and crannies with this uh, with this uh, console bezel down. But anyways, um, I'm gonna do with that. Uh, looks like the mechanism that went bad is right here. It doesn't seem to be nothing broken. It attaches right down here in this area here. So I'm gonna try to um, reinstall it. Uh, looks like it's just nothing's really broken. Um, I was afraid that some piece of plastic was broken. The spring just must have came off or something. I don't understand. So anyways, I'm going to try to just repair that and clean off all the console area and and uh, be back. One thing, too, about these cars, the um, some of the 
plastic pieces get real sticky uh, and you can see fingerprints here uh, especially around the bezel um, there's a trick that using these Neutrogena makeup remover wipes um, can remove that stickiness it takes a little bit of elbow grease but like all these buttons were sticky at one time but now they're smooth and that sticky feeling is gone now but like I said it does take a lot of elbow grease so we're going cleaning up the rest of this I got the um, plastic piece put back in nothing was broken so I just remounted the spring back in and it appears to work again I just don't know how it must have just came off the hinges or something so I'm, I'm not sure maybe putting a rubber band in here might help uh, remove reduce the play I'm not sure but anyways it's working now so um, so yeah that's um, that's it I'm gonna go ahead and clean off these uh, this sticky stuff of the bezel and uh, put everything back together okay we've cleaned up everything the bezels also cleaned all the buttons here here they're all sticky so now they're smooth and uh, took a lot of work with the Neutrogena wipes but everything was clean we're still functional I guess we'll just assume it just came off the hinges by accident and let's see if it ever happens again uh, if not I might have to stick like a rubber band here to keep it keep the play to reduce the left the lateral play here so all right everything's going back in back together again so uh, uh, we'll let you know well that went back in pretty easily it's amazing how easy it went back in hard to get out and now the latch system is working so hopefully uh, it'll stay that way for a while and we'll just put everything else back together hope you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you'd like that's it bye